I, I want to be able to do this as well as I as I can for as long as I can. Yeah, and I, I think you do it pretty well, sir. For my money, you are the American Keith Moon. Let me just tell you, because I think you got, <laughs> I, I um, think you, I think you got some of that uh, who energy in you from your playing and uh, just the energy. Some of the pictures I see, it's it's really fantastic. Well, thank you, man. I'll I'll I'll, I'll take that as a, he, he was a, a an influence, and I was always charmed by uh, his legend and lore and, and stories and. Um, so I'll take that as a compliment. I just I just don't want to perish early as he did. That's all. No, 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 no. <laughs> and and I, Keith was a great drummer, but I think you have technically uh, overshadowed well, where he is as well. Just real quick, a lot. Keith Moon is so widely misunderstood. Mm. Um, for those that there's like you know when I talk to people, fifty percent of the people that they don't they don't get it at all. Yeah. And he was he was like. He played like a jazz drummer where he never wanted to play the same thing twice. Yeah. And he kind of hated having to play part certain certain things. And he played things by accident. And he was just a tornado. Was he a great drummer like his hands, like Buddy Rich? No, not even close. Was he a great drummer like where he, he came up with these great parts like John Bonham or a groove like John Bonham? No, not even close. But it was totally different. Yeah. It was just this joy and this reckless abandon and you know when i talk about keith moon then some people go like oh yeah you're you're, you're a um uh, uh you're, you're touting a guy who who drank and, and drugged himself to, to death great uh, role model like well okay should we stop listening to Jimi hendrix right the beatles took a lot of drugs i tell you right. what, let's right. let's flush uh, uh sergeant pepper uh, down the toilet because those guys weren't high when they did right. that right. Right, clapped well, it, right, yeah, everybody, on. yeah. It, it does, like, separate that shit from the music. Right. Let's look at what, what he was doing. And, and Keith Moon's playing, especially in, in for my money and, and in my opinion, there was something really special between 69 and 71 with his playing. Yes. 73 Quadrophenia was still great, but that was the first signs that the, the yeah. bruising drugs were, were starting to make him sluggish. And it was a little downhill from then, although he still has some cool stuff. But go go listen to Live at Leeds, the you know, the the, the, the full one. Who's next? Uh, th those are those are just monoliths in drumming and a snapshot in time that we will never uh, have again. His energy was unbelievable. And you're gonna get it or you're not gonna get it. I didn't get Jimi Hendrix for a long time. That, that sounded like Vietnam to me, or like some in the recordings were shitty and grainy, and it was like a a, a, um, a, a, a history class. But then one day I got it, and I'm like, oh, okay. And like, yeah, you look at him like he's he is kind of the coolest guy ever, isn't he? Um, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? But things, if that's art, man. Things hit you or right. they do You could be at a museum looking at a painting, and a guy's just going like, I don't get this. And the guy next to you's just got tears streaming down his face. That's exactly. the thing with art. The thing that I don't do is if I don't like something, I don't shit have someone. I don't write right. things on. It's, that, that that's the thing. That's the one. Sorry, I can go off on a tangent here, but that's no, the one dangerous no. thing about the internet. This is like some little kid will post them um, playing the right. drums, and then he'll get wailed on. Right. And maybe he doesn't know that it's okay that, that he's good, and he's going to listen to some guy pressing that button. Right. You know. So if there's any any young musicians out there. Get get thick skin and plow through it. If you do this, do it because you love it. And we're all working on it. Don't right. don't let people who have no skills or no talent and live in their mom's basement tell you that you can't do something. Right.